Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Continuing on with my budget series, today we're looking at a Sky DVG-1. David versus Goliath is where they came up with that name. Very much a subcompact handgun with a 3.1 inch barrel and 10 round magazines. The Sky CPX-2 mags will work with the DVG-1. It has an MSRP of $299. On average, you're looking at $260, $265 in today's market. And it also comes with a red dot. That's an option you'll have, and that has an MSRP of $399. So it definitely is a budget pistol. Now, this is Sky's first striker fire handgun. We've become familiar with the CPX-2 and the CPX-3 that are hammer fired. This is striker fired. It does have a flat trigger right there. And I am measuring the trigger pull right around six and a half pounds with a shorter reset, which is a welcome change from the CPX-2 because that has a long, heavier trigger because it is hammer fired. Front serrations. 22 ounces loaded with 11 rounds. So very much a small handgun and very much a budget handgun. Let's take a few shots. There it is. Sky is known for budget handguns. And, you know, they have great customer service, too. I have heard that on so many occasions. People said that you have excellent customer service with Sky. And I will say that I had a few issues, and they reached out to me right away and offered to clean them up. They said, you know, we can send you some mags. We could have you send it in, whatever the case. I did have to adjust the sights, and that's not a big deal. This model has a stainless slide. They also make it blued. They have what they call a Roebuck quad lock system, which means the barrel makes contact in four separate areas each and every time the slide is charged. Slight finger grooves as well. Let's go ahead and take a few shots one-handed. How about a Lipras test? <laughs> Whoa, I hit the target. Uh, I'll show you. And the DVG-1 passed. And the slide's locking back. I'm happy to see that happening because the first time I took this to the range, it wasn't consistent, and now it seems to, well, not all the time, but anyways, it did happen every time I shot with the DVG-1 at the range today, so pretty happy about that. Wasn't sure initially, but it has been reliable. I can vouch for that. So here we have the Sky DVG-1 with the budget series. And Sky's always been known for budget handguns, and this one is no different. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.